Hey guys, I'm Rachel Cruz. I'm George Camel. And this is Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Hour. Cheers, George. Cheers. Mm. Very refreshing. Would so great. Look at that. Yeah. Well, this is the podcast for two friends who happen to be money experts. Talk about what you're talking about. So everything from pop culture, current events, and money. And today we are talking about something controversial. Salaries. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. The tell-all. From pro athletes to Oscar-winning actors to your kid's English teacher and pediatrician, we are covering it all in this episode. No one is safe. No one is safe. How much do people get paid? Because people don't talk about this subject. You're not like, most people aren't casually. Well, they talk about it in the sense of like equality and equal pay and it's not fair. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So we're going to cover all of that. Average household income, salary trends, uh, all the hot topics. We're going to cover it from the everyday people's jobs to out of touch people's jobs. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, everyone has a moment where you're like, oh, it's just good to know. It's good to what know what people make. So we're gonna chat about it, you guys. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. But before we crunch the numbers, Rachel, let's share what we're sipping on today. Yeah, this is a strawberry basil mocktail from our mocktail girlies out there. And it's they're always like, y'all gotta do mocktail because mm -hmm. I don't. That's, hey, this is for you, and this is a good one. Do they say that, George? Like that? They say it with that accent. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But the people appreciate it. I've seen in the reviews, they're like, thank you for doing the mocktails. It's yeah. so fun to have a fun drink. I bought some in a can yesterday from Costco. Bought what in a can? Kirkland King was at Costco on a Sunday, Rachel. Yeah, that's dedication. But what did you buy in a can? You said, we, I bought it. What is it? Mocktails in a can. Oh, for Whitney? Yes. Sweet. Yes. So I'm excited to try them. There's a key lime margarita mocktail and like a blackberry... Oh, that's fun. Mojito or basil or something mocktail. So I'll let you know how they are. It's so great. But for my mocktail friends out there, we're yep. doing it today. It's there, yep. So stick around till the end. We'll give you the rating, the review, and the cost breakdown. Okay, so uh, this conversation can go a lot of different directions, George. Yes. Uh, but we're going to cover everything. But first, um, what's on the list? Well, we found a recent article that lists the top 100 jobs in America – as of 2023. Any guesses as to what made the number one spot? And this is the most popular, not what made the most. Sure. Right, just like the most. Be it was called best jobs. Oh, best That's jobs. Very I'm sorry. obviously. Best jobs. There's a lot of variables that go I'm going to go into technology. I would. My guess would be like something in technology. That was my guess too. Mm-hmm. And we would be correct. According to U.S. News, software developers, number one, we call them devs here at Ramsey. If you're in the biz, call them devs. Devs. They appreciate software that. Software developer. So they, you know, they're writing new code, updating existing code for efficiency, working on projects for clients, like websites, digital systems, troubleshooting computer bugs, collaborating with other companies and teams. Uh, they need to be innovators, natural problem solvers, and have a knack for technology. A bachelor's oh. degree is required. But on average, the median, the median salary is $120,000 a year. Not bad as and, far as ROI goes. Yeah. And a lot of times you can now just do like a coding boot camp, go to a tech school. Yes. There's other options that are more affordable than going to some fancy schmancy four-year school yeah, to get this. Yeah, absolutely. People go to coding school all the time. And the unemployment yeah. rate is only 1.2% currently. Because people need, yes. We are desperate. Constantly. And even at devs. Ramsey here, we're hiring devs like crazy because we're building so many digital products yes. that require so people. a lot of coding. Uh, job number two, George, is a nurse practitioner. Oh, that's yeah. a fun one. My brother is a nurse practitioner. Oh, really? So I don't know anything about his world, but uh, <laughs> he's smart and works harder than me. <laughs> and he does. Look, it says if you love helping people or you enjoy science and medicine, yeah. but you don't necessarily want to spend your entire 20s in medical school to be a full-on, full-blown doctor. I love this path because, again, you get an extra certification, right? Some more, A little bit more education is added. Uh, but you Versus can, a registered nurse. So it's a step up from registered nurse. Yes, and you can see patients, you can prescribe medicine, and they usually have a ton of knowledge. So if you go to a doctor's office, sometimes you're like, do you want to see the nurse practitioner? Oh, yeah. Because they're seen in those environments. Like, yeah, they can basically cover what a doctor can, right? On the, like a or basic if you go to like an urgent visit. care, a lot of times you're seeing a nurse practitioner. Yes, yes. And they're very knowledgeable and uh, very helpful. So this position has an unemployment rate of just 0.4%. Oh, median salary, 120 grand. So, so great. 
not a bad life. Yeah. A lot of schooling can be very expensive. Yes. So if you can do this, you know, get the debt-free degree, this could be a great path if you like medicine. Absolutely. Okay, so those were jobs over 100K. So let's go below that. So we'll go down the list to number 15, and it's a market research analyst. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah. So a bachelor's degree is required. Median salary is $63,000, which falls within the overall median salary range in the U.S., and this is a really important part of people's business because you want to be able to study data to inform the business leaders who are making key marketing decisions. So you're there to kind of dig into the numbers and the data, where are trends going. You got your pulse. What are we seeing? Finger on the pulse, Rachel. That's Finger what we call it pulse. back in the day. So if you want to do this, you got to enjoy research numbers, spreadsheets, and working with people. So it's a really nice mix of like nerdery, but enough socialization. Yes. So if you don't want to miss out on either of those. And for people for that... I would say uh, benefit from market researchers, our job. Oh, yeah. It's very helpful. It's a very helpful position to say, hey, if you're putting content into the world, what is happening with it? Do people like it? What are people searching? Is it relevant? What do they need? Is it connecting? Yeah, I mean, they, All of they that. really do help shape businesses. So it's great. What do you think about that median salary of uh, between 62 to 69,000 overall median salary? Uh, I think that tracks. Yeah, that feels a right. A lot of people, depending on where they live, no, are going, Rachel, that's not enough. Are you kidding me? I, I can't survive. A low, maybe, like as my like knee-jerk reaction. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I guess it would fall in line, right? Like there is something with like medicine, like when oh, we talked about like the nurse practitioner, yeah. right? That, I don't know. I, I feel like there's— In my head, if you went to any type of like nursing school, you went to medicine, like you got to be making over six figures to make that worth it. Yeah, that's what—yeah, yeah, 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 exactly. But four-year degrees, I feel like you got to be making over 60K to get some ROI out of that. Yes, you know? from the degree aspect, for sure. Okay. Number 17, uh, registered nurse. So Back median salary is $77,000. Okay. Uh, which seems high to you nurses out there, but keep in mind essential worker salaries vary depending on the region, number of years of experience. So if you're a nurse going, I don't make 77 grand. Yeah. Listen, this is the median salary. We didn't make these numbers up. A uh, bachelor's degree required. Growing number of universities offer nursing programs now, which is what, yeah, I went to the University of Tennessee and the nursing program, the nursing school. huge there. Yeah, everyone went Go to the Vols. nursing school. Go Vols. GBO. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. Registered nurses can work anywhere from a hospital uh, ER to a pediatrician's office. And when people call into the Ramsey show or they do their debt-free scream and they're nurses, they're like, I did travel nursing and I doubled my income for like yes. three months. I'm like. It's amazing. So we you can make amazing lot. money doing travel nursing if yeah. the parameters are right, your situation's right. Yeah, in your life. Yes. Yeah. But uh, we've heard a lot of people do that. So way to That's go, travel wild. nurses yeah. out there. That's pretty cool. But, and during the pandemic, a lot of people felt convicted about how overworked and mistreated our essential workers are. And nurses were at the top of that list. I was like, mm -hmm. I would... If you, you couldn't pay me enough to be a nurse during COVID. Oh, my gosh. I can't oh. imagine the stress, so the fear, hard. the chaos that ensued. So much. So the much things they, they saw. Through. Yeah. So much so they lot. went through. So God bless the nurses out there. A hundred percent. Okay. So do you think healthcare workers make enough? Do you Have you had Ooh. like interactions with your own health maybe of people that you're like, gosh, they're just so good. People that – it's funny. I feel like it – like any industry, you get – the really great ones, and you get ones that are like, oh, not the best bedside manner. Sure. Maybe have the knowledge, but... Yes. Yeah, I was uh, at an urgent care uh, a week or two ago. I was at the doctor today for my wife with yeah. the baby coming, and I was just very thankful yes. to have all these questions that can feel life or death, and just have someone confidently tell us an yeah. answer, honestly. It was just like, I'm glad I don't have to go to Google for this, yes. <laughs> or go to WebMD and be like, you have three days to live. <laughs> Your entire family. I'm like, whoa, that got dark real quick, WebMD. <laughs> What's happening? With you? So, and my brother, I'm always texting him like, hey, Oh, bro, yeah, that's a good one. What is this rash? What's going on here? Yes. You know? Oh, so totally. very thankful for all of those that understand that world because oh, it gosh. hurts my brain. Yes, so, it's a lot. Do, are they underpaid? I feel like it depends on what they do, where they are, all of that. Yes. But my brother works in the um, underserved area of Boston that focuses on, you know, like the homeless community mm -hmm. and those that are coming off of drug addiction. And so, like, he's got a real heart to help those that are underserved. Yes. And they also don't make as much money as they could working for the big private healthcare know, companies. which is so, like flipped. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, 
helping those that need it the most, I feel like should be rewarded yeah. more. So people that are in those fields, I'm like, very rarely are like, I'm doing this for the money. Like, it's yeah. just too much of your life to sacrifice to do it for the money. You've got to have a heart to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Well said. Speaking of which, Rachel. Yeah, let's talk about teachers. So number 52 on the list is a high school teacher, bachelor's degree required. Majority of educators have master's and even doctorate levels of degree, especially if you move into administrative roles or work in higher education. Uh, this article said that the median salary is $61,000, but that number is high even for Nashville. So most public school teachers in our area that we know make, you know, in the 40s. And surprisingly, private school teachers make less in their paychecks because they aren't government funded. And we have a that friend. Was shocking. I know. There was a friend that I knew made $34,000 in 2016 at a private high school. That feels criminal. Yeah. Man, teachers, I – is there a – maybe the Europeans do this. I could be wrong. But I feel like society should be like the te- the people that help, especially children. Like, I'm like, to me, I'm like – pediatricians, school teachers, like people that are serving Working the with, youth. Yes. If you made <laughs> so if old you now. made those jobs coveted because they are so well paid, right? There would be a level that I feel like you would like treat them like there would be a level of dignity there. Not yes. that they don't have dignity, but like it is said but for what they're with, paid. Like, yes. I'm like I like and again our our county outside of Nashville is a well-off county, right? Like I think Williamson County. Oh yeah, I think we're in it's Franklin. In the, like you know. top eleven or fifteen. Yep. And so, and counties. my kids go to public school, and they just started back, you know, recently. And those teachers and principals, I'm like, we shower them with gifts, or if they have Amazon lists, but we have the means to do that, right? Yeah. And then you think about these teachers that are in lower income areas, and those kids, I would even argue, need more support, right? Like. Yes. Like, I mean, like, it, it's just such a backwards, it's such a backwards way that they're paid. I'm like, I would pay, I would, my tax dollars, my, I wish I could just send my tax paycheck to my little wow. elementary school yeah. that my kids go to school. I'm like, that would be fun. fix our roads. You get to select where your taxes go to. Roads, uh, I would say like, yes, like police officer, like, like the, like the public servants need to be paid really well and they're not yeah would you i know you're not a fan of increased taxes but if i was like hey rachel extra dollar a month is gonna that go to teachers it. yeah that's and you could select and opt into that see that would be it and i would pay I would more that. per month i really would i really would yeah but we have to do it through like gifts or like classroom donations or like that kind of stuff right but yeah. man to be able to is there a number in your head like hey i feel like starting out starting salary for a teacher depending I mean, if on your you area made a te- if you made teaching a job that was so coveted and it was so hard to get a position because there were never openings Ooh. because it's paid so well and people have to be great and if you suck as a teacher you get kicked out because people you'll be fired because there are a line of great teachers because people want that job so badly that's it so what 120 well i was just thinking about the developers and i was like you're telling me a guy who gets to sit at his desk all day without interacting with anybody gets to make 120? Yeah, but he's— But the teachers who have to have a okay. whole plethora of skills yeah, I know. are making 34 grand. But not to, not to stick up for the devs. But what they are creating, though, is profit for companies that make profit that True. then employ more people because they're growing. Do you that's know what I'm saying? That's the heart like, of it. Is the teacher, a, they're not necessarily creating a well, trackable revenue and every day. And it's, for the, and it's government funded. So, like— there's only so much, right, that they can do there, and That's I don't a know. Good take. I, I feel like a starting teacher salary should be like fifty grand minimum. Sure. Oh yeah, I would. But I yeah, I would pay. Like them. it's got to be at par with other career See, choices. I would say. I would say minimum sixty. Okay. Yeah, I All would. Right. Pay, I would pay teachers. You heard it here really first. Well. It really is. It's the one profession that I'm like maybe because I just have like really personal experience with it, having little ones. And, you know, you're in second grade, third grade. What's and your you're most just formative like, years I... with this person who has such influence over your life? And they do so much, George. They do so much. They go home and grade pay. I mean, like, the work that teachers have. Oh, yeah. Gosh, love you, teachers. She's getting emotional. <laughs> and especially— I do, and they're just not paid. And I've I'm got like, a special heart crazy. for those teachers that teach our personal finance curriculum. Foundations— that's that not to me, biased at all. It, well, it's biased because I'm like, this is the stuff you wish you learned in school. So the fact there's yes. high schoolers out there reaching out to me, be oh, like, yeah. I just paid cash for my car and I'm going to go to school debt free because my teacher taught us the curriculum. I'm like, yes, yes, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. All teachers. So that's for what I meant. Sure. By oh, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not no. trying to be teacher's pet. No, I hear you. Yes. 
Yes, teachers that, yeah, give, especially in the high school level, they give these life skills, all of it. If so. you could pick a job in any other industry besides the one you're in right now, what would it be? <gasps> a political correspondent. Oh, wow. It's so like you're on TV and they're like. I would just do presidential campaigns. Wow. Uh-huh. What a gig. Yeah. So you're saying every you would only years. have a job <laughs> once every four years? I would do some like you know, uh, segments and some reporting throughout because stuff starts before. I mean, it's not on like- any channel. Are we talking? T- I'm guessing we're talking television. Yeah. Uh, it would be fun if, I mean, this isn't even possible, I don't think, but to be like an independent uh, contractor, if you will, in different networks. I'm so highly coveted wow. to get my You're news telling coverage me Fox and of CNN it. are fighting yeah, for both Rachel like, Cruz. We want her. And I'm like, perfect. Down the line. Yeah. Like, it's that good. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> That's why we call it a dream, Rachel. But it would be. <laughs> but, it w- but it would be around politics. I would do something around politics. In, in elections specifically. Okay. Yeah. That's How about cool. you, George? What would you do? Uh, Skateboarder? I, no. Gosh, no. I, uh, that wasn't even a previous dream. I stayed low to the ground. I wasn't very flashy. Okay. But okay. I was very good. Uh, I'm going to say, like, at an a really hip ad agency mm-hmm. working with like really big brands. Mm. And I get to call like the what? shots. Like what? What's your top two brands that you would be like? I don't know. I mean. Like a clothing company? I think clothes would be fun, but just really any company that wanted really fun commercials. Yeah. So think of like full ad campaigns, Super Bowl ads, and they're like, all right, what are we going to do? And I'm like, let's let's dream big. So yeah, there we go. The brands are less, like it could be Doritos, it could be sure. clothing, it could be cars. But big campaigns. But just get to dream big about like what would really capture someone's attention and be funny or heartfelt and all that. So yeah. that's kind of, that would be kind of cool. I love that. Lindsay, what would yours be? Um, what would you if do? I could be anything? Yeah. Any if you, other if you didn't have this job, what would your job be? I don't have this skill. <laughs> But I feel like it would be so fun to be like a pastry chef. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Yes. I don't know. Pretty fun. I could see that. I it feels very that. stressful in early morning. Like, are I you need to live person? in Europe at this point. I'm no longer here. Okay. No longer here. No. Are you in Italy? Are you a French pastry chef? I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking French. They have the best pastry, pastries, they do. I feel like. And the most pretentious fun. pastries, but Cut the best. Throat. Yeah. But Croissant. Croissant. So good. Vie. I love it. That's a good time. Okay, George, what uh, what jobs do you think should earn the most money? Ooh. You, know, you think about Trader Joe's. Examples. Trader Joe's cashiers, they're my favorite. Salt of the earth. Winston and you I went what? on Saturday night, and the lady was just like, how's the weekend? Has school start? You know, and I'm like, I feel like I can They're more my, intentional than my friends are. Bear my soul to you. Yeah. They are so kind. Can I be honest with you? I thought about getting a side job at Trader Joe's. <laughs> Not even for the money, but I'm like, it's such a positive environment and everyone's just vibing and having a good time. Oh, can I tell you, we went on Saturday, we dropped the girls off at a birthday party. So we had like an hour to kill. And Winston, I was like, gosh, I need to go to Trader Joe's. And he said, I've actually never been in a Trader Joe's. Yeah. And I was like, what? are you ready? But he's he loves the beef jerky. He loves the stuff that like, that you get. I get there. So we went in his life was forever. He walked out of there. He was like, what is this place? And why do I feel like I'm the only one that knows this little secret? And I was like, well, you're not. <laughs> you're about 10 years late to the party. I know. But like they were giving Charles stickers. Again, she's asking about back to school. Are you stressed? I mean, like the cash. I mean, everything about the situation was incredible. Yes. And Rarely do I want to make small talk with cashiers, but the Trader Joe's employees are like, I, I want to be friends with all of you. All of you. Like, should we just go hang out? And they get paid really well. Do they? Good. Yes. Good. I'm and so, so glad. they're well taken care of. It's a great place to work. Uh, speaking of which, another yeah. great place to work, from what I've heard, is Publix. Oh, yes. Those employees, also very nice. They are very nice. Yeah. A little uh, younger crowd, maybe. You know, yeah. very like a lot of teenagers get their first jobs there, but they're always so mature and well trained. And they take and you to where you want to go. If you're so like, helpful. hey, where's the Nutella? Oh, come with me, ma'am. It's on aisle five. And they walk you to the exact product. That's Respect. Instead of like, I don't know, I think it's over and there. And they'll, they'll ask to walk, walk your groceries out. Yes, And they, they will not too. accept a tip. I know. Are you a, a pub sub kind of guy? Um, I do because they have a gluten-free wrap they can put on pub subs. I did not know this, and that changed the game for me. <laughs> do you love it? Is I it usually so only do it uh, when I'm going to the beach. It's like a beach yes. treat to get the pub sub. If you know, you know. Yep. Okay, next one. And I have a personal experience with this. Uh, sc- school crossing guards who oh. stand there. 
Rain Mad or respect shine, to the crossing guards. And they guards. are there. We had a crossing guard for years, and he retired last year. So we have a new one, and the new one's great, too. But he was the same elderly man. He drove his truck. Bless him. And it, he parked in the same spot. Every, and there's a lot of walkers where our elementary school is because there's, like, four neighborhoods that are, like, right there. So there's a lot of bikers, a lot of walkers. My gosh, stole our hearts. We loved him. He was a little strict. Oh, yeah, they're so, not fooling around. Yeah. You have to be. He was, uh, you can't be he lackadaisical very, in that yeah, job. No, 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 no. He was very serious about it. So you did not do certain things, and he would tell you. But I appreciated that because safety first. Yes. And mm -hmm. it, along with that, bus drivers. Yes, I know. The bus driver I had grown up, like, to deal with just driving kids in a giant metal tube with while they're all screaming. Just Committing terrible. crimes back there, probably. And mine would drop me off sometimes right in front of my house, even though they weren't Amelia, supposed to. Amelia's instead of down the block. And I was like. Especially if there was like four feet of snow, they just brought right to my so driveway. Sweet, I know they're great. Hey, sweet we souls. We love all. We love all those, man. Okay, George. So that's like the wholesome goodness of America. Now yes. let's move on to celebrities. Gross. <laughs> and what they get paid. People who we, I think we'd all agree make astronomically. I know so much good money, money, but hey, we're the ones that freaking watch and pay for it. I don't so. support any of it, Rachel. Well. You ready for this? The average NBA player salary jumped from five point two million to nine point six million in twenty twenty three. So you're telling me it's almost a hundred percent raise. That the, NBA the rest of America is out got, here being like, I hope I get a two percent raise this year. I know it's it is wild. Now Michael Jordan is the wealthiest at two point two billion dollars. But of course, I mean, he's like the face of Nike. Jordan's. I mean, it's kind of oh, like oh yeah, it's kind of. Did you assumed. see Air? The Nike movie? Uh, I didn't see the movie. I watched, um, he had the documentary, though. The, Last Dance. Yes, I watched that. Also yeah. very good. How was it? Did you watch it? Really good. Was it? Yes. Yeah. But they revealed at the end that he still, because of the deal that, and his mom was instrumental in this, the yeah. deal that he struck with Nike, he still makes, oh. 2022 made $250 million from Jordan's. <sighs> oh my gosh. Because of the deal. And it was the first time in history that they'd ever got a percentage royalty versus like just a flat rate just a contract like, yeah. rate wow so it worked out for well him. done mama jordan well done good job good so, job yeah That's mj's the big one we all know and love uh mj yes for sure do you think athletes deserve to be paid as much as they make like if you had the physical ability and you were like i could do this and you're like i could make five million dollars playing <laughs> tennis what would your sport be wait oh that's a good question I don't golfers make like the most. They can make really good money. Yeah. Um, I feel like golf, I feel like a golf, because golfing, I'm not like having to be like, I won't physically, well, I guess they could get injured, but not like, do you sure. know what I'm saying? You could be like 65 and still like a yeah, really good tennis golfer. Tennis is like a really fun feminine, like, cool, you're the best tennis player. That seems like. Is it because of the tennis fun. skirt? Is that what you're excited a about? Bit. Okay. The outfit's great. <laughs> That's fair. I was going there. I did think that. Same with That's golf. That's a good one. <laughs> So you would be tennis or you would go... Ooh, would I be tennis or golf, tennis or golf, tennis or golf? I, I think, think I'd go tennis. I think you'd do better at tennis. Yeah, I think tennis would be my thing. There's mm -hmm. not a lot of... I'm trying to think of like the so pro-female golfers out there. I feel like there should be more. I know. I'm sure they're there. I mean, they are there. I'm sure they're there. They're there. I just think we, they're like older Yeah, guys. so do they make too much money? Well, the problem is, is I think in a sense, it's weirdly justified because of the entertainment aspect that Americans watch... Ad revenue. I mean, like it's one of the only things I'll you know people still turn on the TV for. I know, or like go so to I'm a live like, event for. I mean, so the capitalist in me that's like, well, if the cycle's going, I mean, that's how they're getting paid. So I get it, but it's I mean, it's it's ridiculous. But I also don't want to be the person that's like, because someone could see what we make a year. I don't know, They'd see like, what that's anyone makes. Insane. How can they do that? Yeah. They're just doing X, Y, and Z. So like, I don't know who am I to say, right? That's fair. Yeah, just because I, lot of money, though, I'm like, that's that. too much. There's no number. It's like they're not – as long as they're not harming anyone to make this salary. Yeah, right, right. So here's some of the highest paid athletes as of 2023. Cristiano Ronaldo, footballer Ooh. or soccer if you want to be American. If you want to be American. $136 million. $46 million on the field, $90 million in other earnings. Oh, yeah. To me, that's that's the sweet spot is all those brand deals and partnerships yes. and advertising. Yep. Yeah. yep. Yeah. Phil Mickelson, golfer, $106 million. $104 million on the course, $2 million in other earnings. And then finally, your favorite, Rachel, Patrick Mahomes. Oh, my favorite. Do you know Patrick Mahomes? Uh, only because I watched one episode of the new Netflix documentary about the 
quarterbacks. Yeah. Oh, I did not know there was one. Of, okay. okay. I'm <laughs> there's learning. A, there's a documentary, George, about the f- top three football quarterbacks. And there's like four episodes and it just shows you in the life of them last season. Oh. So you can watch like behind the scenes and all this That's stuff. That's fun. I've only watched like an episode and a half. I got kind of bored. I'm proud of you. Sorry. But Patrick Mahomes I only was know because Blake Thompson, who's our executive vice president over Ramsey Network, all of our shows, yes. he's a huge Kansas huge. City guy, yeah. Mahomes fan. So Yeah, but he's a good guy. Yeah, and I've wife, heard great things. Young kids, like you watch one of the documentary, you're like, oh yeah, you're like Isn't it funny cool. we're like rooting for them to also be just good people? I know. And that know? help, it helps. It helps with Taylor. Yes. Ugh. So fifty nine million for Mahomes, thirty nine on the field, twenty nine million in other earnings. There you go. And uh, Serena is the only female in the fifty highest paid athletes, and she barely made the cut at forty nine. Oh, there you go. But yeah. way to go, Serena. Yeah. Girl power. So that's the sports. Okay, let's go to the entertainment industry, film and music. So Ooh. the music industry has gone through some major changes of how they're paid because of streaming. So get this, uh, man. Streaming has just it's. Taken When's off the last time you bought a song for the from American iTunes? for for the culture and it has gone down tanked for the artists. So artists get paid four thousand dollars per every million streams on Spotify. Wow! Because do you remember back in the day, George, Sam and Goody, uh, all the CD stores? You pay fifteen dollars for one. Artist I would. CD? I went and bought three Mariah Carey CDs in one swipe with birthday money when I was like wow. twelve years old. It's when Butterfly came Different out. Different albums? Yeah, Butterfly, Music Box, and there was another one, Mariah Carey. And, I mean, what she probably got paid on CDs like that, I mean, they were making bank back in the day. Well, if you can make, you know, let's say $2 even per CD versus making $0.10 cents oh, for Rachel streaming that album, yeah. if she's lucky, that's it, a game changer. Yeah, it's wild. So, so again, I I'm, mean, I have an album on Spotify, and I'll be honest— <laughs> I still make about twenty dollars a month for my, you know, twenty five hundred plays. So oh my gosh. the dream is still alive, Rachel. It's all there. I can't even afford a cocktail with that kind of money. I know. But artists make big money from, you know, big tours, brand deals. They just had to find a new way to make money versus just radio plays and CD sales. But That's Rolling true. Stone article put it this way the good news is that the music industry has accepted streaming as its revenue leader. And is ready to adapt around with rewrite of laws, new royalty negotiations, mergers, acquisitions, all the things to be lucrative for the musicians. So The bad news is no one knows when that will be. So that's the big (laughs) rub is that musicians out there are like, we can't survive off of streaming. So a Swifties go and pay like thousands of dollars for concert tickets. Taylor will still be okay on streaming. She'll yeah. be all right. She's doing but, great, but she's the money really is in the tours, yeah. the merch, the brand deals, the advertising. Absolutely. And less so in streaming unless you're like you have a bajillion plays. That's right. Okay. Let's uh, go down to the old uh, Hollywood route, Ooh. George. Some A-list movie stars earn anywhere from $15 million to $20 million per movie. Wow. And again, depends on the popularity of the movie, the budget size, all of it. But for the new Barbie movie, Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie – each made $12.5 million. And they're paid Whoa. equally, by the way, which I appreciate. Sometimes the yeah, I mean, female both, lead doesn't always get that. They are both A-list but. celebrity actors, so yeah. that's fair. But I also wonder if it, part of it was the whole Barbie thing. I don't so know. Like, hey, you know, Greta Gerwig, who's the director. Yeah, yeah. She's a female. She's like, hey, I'm not going to just go pay my male sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. co-star more mm-hmm. just because he's a guy. So I can respect and that. And it's called Barbie. So she's... <laughs> Yeah, lead. but I will say Ryan Gosling did a great job. I heard he stole the show. He really did. And I cannot wait I to mean, watch it. It was really, yeah. I know it has a lot of controversy, which I'm sure only helped their sales. Yeah, it does. And I get. I mean, there's part of it that's like, okay, I hear you, I see you, like all of it. But overall, Ken, I would go back and see it again for him because I think he was the funniest. Car- I mean, it was it was hysterical. One of my favorite actors. Ryan he Gosling. did so great. We so great. Well, another buzzworthy topic, Rachel, mm-hmm. in the movie industry right now is the writer strike. Oh, yeah. And this one's interesting because it involves both actors and writers striking at the same time, which is it hasn't happened in over 60 years. No, so a lot of their contracts are up, you know, for renegotiation and and it's changed because the streaming world has changed for them too of what they get paid. Um, but people like Meredith Palmer from Meredith from The Office. Oh, that's Sean fun. They Gunn. named it the same name. Yeah, Kirk from Gilmore Girls, Mandy Moore even from This Is Us. Uh recently called out the fact that they only get a few cents on the paycheck 
every few months as residual compensation when their shows bring in consistent revenue yeah, to the sure. streaming service. As big as The Office is, I feel like it's still constantly playing on whatever Always. channel. And what they get paid that's is that's crazy. Yeah, not a lot. So, yeah, there's a big strike going out. Wow. Oh, it's a lot of salaries, George. That's a lot. And it, there was a wide spectrum from, yeah. you know, 34 grand to $20 million to 106 million. That's right. The money I feel like is in sports. I mean, obviously, it's harder on your body versus acting. Sure. But goodness gracious, these athletes are getting paid insane amounts. Should we go into sports, George? I've thought Should about it, honestly. But truthfully, it felt like the easy route. I was like, I want a challenge in life. <laughs> you know, I, I I could probably be a soccer player. I'm like smaller. Yeah. And so I feel like that's my only option, truthfully. Yeah. But also the injuries, all it takes. I know. But I also can act where I could fake an injury on the soccer field. You've seen those. <gasps> oh, yeah, for so sure. I it's could like be a like, thing. ah. Shoot. Yeah. But I also have glasses. I can't go contact, so I don't know if I could do it. Oh, man. There's a lot of obstacles in your way, George, but I believe in you. Thank you. I believe in you. Look look out for me on the field. So what are some of our takeaways, George? I think the first one is we have to shift our mindset always to what can we control. Yeah. And, and, you know, there's a reality to work that, you know, especially if you're not running your own thing, uh, it's like, okay, I'm going to work in a specific industry or for a specific company or whatever it is. And it's like, here's here's what I here's my salary. Um, and what am I gonna choose to do with it? And I think that's one of the more powerful things of what you can control is when you get paid, what are you gonna do with that paycheck? Oh, that's good. Yeah, and stop looking out there and that's part of it gets toxic when you start trying to go like, well, what do you make and what do they mm-hmm. make? It doesn't matter because you don't make that. And if you wanna go make that, do what it takes to make that. And yep. if you truly feel like it's unfair, do something about it. Yep. If you hate your employer, leave. They don't want you there. And that would be my second thing I would say is exactly that, that if you don't feel like you're being paid fairly for the job that is being done, advocate for yourself. I think that's fair. Uh, Even have to make a career pivot, right? If you're in a career and it's like, this is the parameters of what we make in this career and you want to make more, you may have to change careers, right? I mean, like math only goes so far in that. And you might need to get education, skills, yep. work at that thing to get better at it in order to make yourself yes, you know, more attractive to that employer. Or Absolutely. go start your own thing. For sure. And a lot of people do that. They go, I can do this on my own and be my own boss. That's great. We yep. love small businesses and entrepreneurs Absolutely. and self-employed folks. You can make great money doing that. But the idea of just wallowing and complaining and be like, it's not fair. And Rachel, the wages haven't... I'm like... Yes, and what are you going to do about it? Because that's all we have in this life. Yeah, absolutely. And I think number three, keep in mind that you haven't walked a mile in everyone's shoes. So again, I think we can throw out, you know, so-and-so is being paid too much or like, you know, people can have these opinions. But again, everyone has a story, a level of value that they bring to the marketplace, right? And you have no clue what people have, have gone through. And so being able to say what, like I watched that documentary, one episode of it, of those quarterbacks. It's all you needed. But it's a lot, right? And again, people could agree or disagree with what they're being paid, but there's a lot of pressure and a lot of things riding on those guys. So do they deserve to be paid more with all of that? I don't know, right? Well, and with more wealth, more pay comes more responsibility. And a lot of times those people are in the public eye and that changes your life. You can't just live a normal life at that point. Like Taylor Swift as much as she makes, can't just like go to the grocery store and like go hang out. Like she has to have security and lawyers and a whole team of people constantly around her. Mm -hmm. And so it changes your quality of life. And I'm sure she has a great life. Yeah. But you can't just compare your life to someone else's. That's right. And you talk about this in your book, Love Your Life, Not Theirs. Yeah. It's a great reminder. Yeah. To just run your own race. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. And I've always, and I've said the phrase too, even around money, George, of like, I I don't ever say anymore, oh, I would never buy X, Y, and Z, or I would never have done that or that, right? Like, because people are like, oh, how could they ever buy that car? How could they, whatever. So again, run your race. Whatever people are doing, put the blinders on, run your race. Yeah, that kind of judgment and resentment is just like drinking poison. Yeah, yeah. So it's not worth it. No. But I I hope all of you out there are doing something that you love and you feel like you're fairly paid to do it. That's right. Absolutely. All right, George, it's almost the end of the episode. And we close out every episode with Guilty Guilty as as charged. Charged. And this is where our producer, Lindsay, gives us a new Guilty as Charged question every week. And if we are guilty, we have to take a sip. Oh, boy. So, Lindsay, 
I know you guys are being all sweet and all, but <laughs> have you ever trash talked a celebrity's new deal or salary? Oh, mm, you know, trash talked a celebrity's talk deal or salary. Oh, I think I for sure have yeah. heard like so and so and the baseball player signed four years right. for like a billion dollars, and you're like, what? What? Mm. Yeah, I think I've had. I mean, yeah. If I were to be honest, I've definitely yes. had that reaction. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of a celebrity that I trash talked. Yeah, I can't in think public of public or Mine to my was a friends. baseball player. I don't remember the specific person. But I remember hearing their contract, and I was like, "Okay, really? That's insane." Yeah, I think that way with like some influencers and even some folks in the personal finance space. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, like, it's a, probably jealousy." I'm like, "How are they making a bajillion dollars doing this?" But it's because of their brand partnerships and they're really good at business. But there's been a level of that where you're just like, they're not that special, mm-hmm. but they're making amazing money. Now, the athletes, it takes a, you know, some prodigy level talent to even make it For to sure. the MLB. For sure. But then to yeah. look at like the worst, the person who doesn't even get field time and you're like, they make that many millions of dollars and they don't even make it to the field. I'm like, I could do that. I could not go on the field. <laughs> Pick, Pick me. me. <laughs> put me in, coach. <laughs> I'll do that one. Or don't put me in, coach. I'll do that. Yeah, so don't there's put definitely me a level in. of that. I'm I'm guilty, and it's usually I not. Know. I'm not in a good place when yeah, I do it. Yeah, it's not nice. I don't no, know that I anyone know. is their healthiest self when trash talking celebrities. But if you mm-hmm. trash talk Taylor, I will not. I will not have it. <gasps> not after she George. tipped her crew fifty five million dollars after the tour. One hundred thousand dollars per truck driver. So kind. Extra. Unbelievable. So, they again, it. we don't they even know. Good. That one was public. We don't know how what much of this stuff goes she's, on behind the scenes. She's a jewel. She's an absolute jewel. Which so, is why I want to see is. her again next year because she's coming back to America. Coming back to America. Mm-hmm. Oh, are you going to see her Miami, again? Three nights in Miami, three nights in India. Oh, I'm going to try so hard. Get me a ticket too while you're at it. I would. Lo- I know. I'm like, I, I want to take my girls. Wow. A year. They'll be a you're year older. You're literally supporting the economy. <laughs> I'm helping keep this world turning and She's spinning. that kind of person. Love it. I'm so nice. Good so times. nice. All right, um, George. So uh, who finished their drink first? You got a little closer on yours. Yeah, I think I did. I liked it. It was a fun one. So this was a strawberry basil mocktail. And what's in this, you ask? I'll tell you right now. Strawberries. And these strawberries are not just any strawberries. They are freshly cut and muddled into the drink. There's fresh lime, basil leaves, and seltzer water. And it comes out to $2.93 per glass. And it will be sure to wow your friends this weekend. So give it a try. We'll give you the recipe in the show notes. Yeah, it was delicious. What's your rating? I like it. Um, I'm going to go 8.5 out of 10. Okay. It feels like there was a lot of effort being made because we did not make it. So B plus for effort. But Skyler, uh, our amazing did. associate producer, and there was a lot this. of muddling that I was watching, and I thought, "Wow, that's a lot of." It's Look a, at her go. It, <laughs> that's what you were thinking. Look at her go. Yeah, she did a great job. So it just—it's it, not just like pour a can of this, a can of that, a squeeze a lime. I mean, you're like, there's a little bit of manual labor in it, and I'm a little lazy for it sometimes. So, so you appreciate that's why that. I'm going a little low because I'm like, well, I have the effort to do it, but the taste was really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven out of ten. The flavor is great. I think if it was strained to have less of the strawberry pulp in there, yeah, I would have been able that, to enjoy it more. We had some of that That's with all. the watermelon mocktail. That's right, a few weeks ago. So I think straining is is key for a drink like this. But Skylar did a great job. Mm-hmm. Go try it at home. It's two dollars ninety three cents per glass. It's got strawberries, lime, basil leaves, and seltzer water. Recipe in the show notes. It was delicious. Well, George, it's closing time. Uh, you guys, thanks for watching and listening. Make sure to leave a review. It helps us Do so it. much. Helps the algorithm to get the show in front of more people to hopefully show them they can talk about money and it be fun and enjoyable and it ties into our everyday lives. That's what we want people to know. Beautifully said. So make sure to leave that review and subscribe so that you don't miss a new episode every Thursday of Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Hour.